हेलो वीवर्स माई सेल्फ अमित पेलेकर वेलकम्स यू टू माई चैनल टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स बाय ए एम बी एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मिक्सिंग एंड होमोजेनाइजेशन पार्ट वन आफ्टर गोइंग टू थ्रू दिस यू विल बी एबल टू डिफाइन मिक्सिंग एंड लिस्ट ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ मिक्सिंग डिफरेंशिएट टाइप्स ऑफ मिक्सिंग एंड डिस्क्राइब मैकेनिजम्स ऑफ मिक्सिंग सो वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वॉट इज मिक्सिंग सो मिक्सिंग इट इज अ प्रोसेस इन विच टू और मोर इनग्रीडियंट्स आर कंबाइन टूगेदर सो दैट एवरी पार्टिकल ऑफ वन इनग्रीडियंट लाइज एज नियर एज पॉसिबल टू द पार्टिकल ऑफ अनादर इनग्रीडियंट सो दिस इज very very important if you are saying the mixing is uniform one particle of one ingredient lies as near as possible to the particle of another ingredient that is very very important but practically this type of mixing cannot be achieved because it is affected by various factors like density of the material size and shape of the material quantity of the material and so many factors are affecting the mixing that's why practically such a mixing cannot be achieved so any mixing is there it is showing some regions of separation which are also called as regions of segregation now these regions of separation or segregation whether they are allowed or not tolerable or not that depends upon the purpose for which this mixing is to be carried out so it is very very important uh, to uh, decide for what purpose we are mixing and what type of how much segregation it is tolerable or allowed uh, before mixing we have to decide that and in pharmacy mixing it is a, a very very important process as finally it affects the efficacy of the preparation if we are going to prepare any dosage form that should contain any form quantity of the drug <coughs> it is very very important and it is achieved only after the proper mixing of the ingredients that's why in pharmacy mixing is a crucial step now it is uh, time for reflection spot you uh, you click on the pause button and think about the question which is asked in the reflection spot so what is the question whether we are doing mixing process in daily life and if yes list out these processes now you have to take your notebook and write down the answer of this question in your book after writing the answer please click on the pause button and play the video so in daily life we are using various mixing processes in cooking also cooking the food there are several processes where we can uh, mix various ingredients with one another for making curry we are uh, uh, mixing uh, liquid with the solid and for making roti and other things or um, we are mixing solids with solid so uh, mixing process it is a part of our daily life uh, in pharmacy it is very very important so what are the objectives of the mixing especially in pharmacy so uh, in pharmacy degree of mixing is very very important and uh, the degree of mixing it depends upon the purpose for which mixing is carried out so uh, we have to discuss about these objectives so what are the objectives which should be achieved after the mixing so mixing is required to form a uniform mixture it is very very important that a dosage form should have uniform quantity of the material so 
efficacy of that product depends upon the mixing quality so it is very very important to achieve uniform mixture mixing is done to promote chemical reaction and get uniform product so to carry out the chemical reaction one ingredient should come in contact with other ingredient then and then only reaction can be possible and for that to carry out that reaction in a proper way uh, uniform mixing should be done and after that you can get uniform product mixing is also should be done to get uniform suspension or pest especially in pharmaceutical industry in pharmacy uh, we are pre preparing various suspensions or pests and for uh, in such cases uh, there are chances of segregation and for that uniform suspension cannot be formed and to achieve uniform suspension we should do proper mixing and we should think about the degree of mixing next uh, to get uniform emulsion mixing is to be carried out in the pharmaceutical industry emulsion uh, is the uh, product which contains two immiscible liquids and we have to mix these immiscible liquid to, we have to keep these immiscible liquids with one another and for that proper degree of mixing should be done so these are the objectives of the mixing now we have to discuss about types of the mixing <coughs> According to Peter Dan Dankwart, who is the chemical engineer of England, mixing is divided into three types, positive mixing, negative mixing and neutral mixing. So we will discuss these mixings one by one. Positive mixing. If in a given time the different components completely and spontaneously that is very very spontaneously mixes with each other this type of mixing is called as positive mixing now spontaneously means there is no need of external force should, uh, should be applied so without application of external force if these particles are mixing with one another then this type of mixing is called as positive mixing and mixtures obtained after positive mixing these are called as positive mixtures they do not present any problem in the mixing such uh, ingredients they can easily mix with one another they are not uh, going to develop or present any problem during the mixing and this type of mixing is irreversible in nature example of positive mixing is mixing of two gases with one another or mixing of miscible liquid with one another or mixing of a soluble solid into the solvent these are the different mix uh, examples of positive mixing now we have to discuss about negative mixing so what is negative mixing if two immiscible liquids are going to be mixed or insoluble solids are mixed in vehicle this type of mixing is called as negative mixing in negative mixing mostly uh, the ingredients are not mixing easily with one another that is very very important they are having more uh, parts of segregation more uh, areas of segregation that's why they are not mixing easily with one another and their separation can take place such mixture which is obtained after negative mixing is called as negative mixture and to get uniform mix mixture we should continuously agitate uh, these ingredients with one another if you stop agitation they takes place segregation or separation so this type of mixing is called as negative mixing uh, this type of mixing is reversible in nature also so there is uh, taking place separation so you can see in this diagram or picture uh, this is these are the here this is the insoluble solid which is mixed with the vehicle but after uh, stopping agitation there takes place separation so powder gets settled down and this is the uh, two immiscible liquids which are mixed with one another they, there is no uniform mixing 
can take place because mixture is negative next is neutral mixing now when mixing takes place only after application of system forces such type of mixing is called as neutral mixing so here the ingredients which we are going to mix with one another they are not mixing with one another easily but after application of external force they can mix with one another and such mixture which obtained after neutral mixing this is called as neutral mixture here what happens once first they are not mixing easily with one another but once they are mixed with one another after application of forces then they can mix with one another and once they are mixed they they are unable to separate that is very very important so it is again the irreversible type of mixing example is mixing of solids with solid or mixing of high concentration of solid in liquid as in case of preparation of paste and ointments in pharmaceutical industry so these are the different types of mixings positive mixing negative mixing and neutral mixing now we have to discuss about mechanisms which are involved in the mixing process so there are three mechanisms which are involved and mixing is achieved by either one of this mechanism or combination of uh, one or more of these mechanisms so three important mechanisms involved in the mixing are convection mixing second is shear mixing and third is diffusion mixing so we will discuss these me mechanisms one by one so first is convection so here you can see material it is transported from one place to another place and uh, one location to the another location and thus the components uh, used for mixing are distributed over the one another and after a certain time uh, mixing proper mixing of the ingredients can take place so this type of mechanism is called as convection mixing second is shear mixing so in shear mixing <coughs> mostly shear mixing is applicable when materials are cohesive means they are very fine or wet materials on in this case cohesive material or wet material only convective mixing is not uh, sufficient to produce uniform mixing and for that to get uniform mixing in such cases strong transportation forces are required which are not achieved by convective mixing only and for that external forces are going to be applied now strong additional force which we can apply for the mixing that is called a shear force and because of this shear force separation is reduced and it helps in the uniform mixing so shear means it is the additional strong force which we have to apply for reducing the separation and helping the mix uniform mixing third mechanism is diffusion in this mixing moment of material takes place from higher concentration to lower concentration or particles are distributed over a newly developed surface it involves random motion of the components that changes the position relative to one another you can see in this uh, dotted diagram the colors it is going to be changed because of diffusion and finally after some time uniform colored mixture it is going to be formed this type of mechanism where uh, moment of components can take place relative to one another is called as diffusion mechanism so these are the three important mechanisms involved in the process of mixing first is uh, convection second is uh, shear force and third is diffusion so in this video we had discussed about what is 
mixing we had discussed definition of mixing and what is uh, importance of the mixing then we had discussed objectives for which mixing is to be carried out then we had discussed different types of mixing and mixtures with positive negative and neutral mixings and mixtures and finally we had discussed about mechanisms involved in the mixing we had discussed about convection shear force and diffusion with that we are stopping today thank you for listening me please subscribe my channel tips and tricks by amb thank you once again